Hi, I'm Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. Will, what do you think about Microsoft hardware? Uh, I love the Xbox and the Xbox 360 controller. And they're also it's the same company that's making a Surface. Yeah, same I, department. I, I have no strong feelings about that one or the other since we haven't seen it for reals yet. Mm -hmm. I love, love that Microsoft Natural Keyboard 4000. Yes, so Microsoft one. hardware, pretty well known uh, in the PC side yeah. for decent keyboards and mice. Mm -hmm. um, and they have two new, key or one new keyboard, one new mouse. Okay, two new have. devices. Two new devices. Um, uh, these are made for Windows 8 and uh, they're actually very uniquely designed. So, so do I need a special keyboard and mouse to use Windows 8? You do not, that, oh, not at all, but they are positioning these devices for Windows 8. Uh, this is the Wedge Touch Mouse. Now that doesn't even look like it's big enough to be a half of a mouse, much no. less a mouse. Uh, it is the smallest mouse I think, uh, I think I've think i used. It's called the Wedge Mouse because it's wedge-shaped. Yeah, I got that. Is and, it comfortable? Uh, like, that's actually, my first question after looking at this thing, because it looks mad uncomfortable. But how do you grip this? Like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how you grip that. Are there buttons? Uh, there are buttons. There are hard, two hard buttons on top. Okay, so it clicks when you press. Two clicky buttons, four directional scrolling. So you kind of do a grip thing with your it's ring claw. finger? It is just a claw. And you know what? Really comfortable. I use my ring finger and my thumb. So do you, but you don't have any support for your hand. Why well, do you need support for your hand? You have to hold it up. It's so light. You have to fight gravity. It's so light. Oh, I, I really like I'm this. very skeptical of this mouse. I use this as my primary mouse on my laptop. Okay. And I actually find myself using this more than my heavier Logitech G500. I used to like really heavy mice for gaming. I would never use this for gaming. It's a okay. thousand DPI. It does have a blue track technology. So you can use it on glass. So you can Most use glass. it on glass. Okay. And this is made to be a travel mouse. So you're supposed to take this you know, to hotel rooms. Uh, I actually find myself using this on the coffee table for an okay. HTPC at home. I can see that. Because it's super light. Yeah. Um, and unlike the Arc Touch Mouse, which I really liked beforehand, I had this in my bag, so it's very dusty. This one? Uh, right no here. receiver. So, oh, so the Arc Touch Mouse used a little little dongle. Proprietary 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And it was magnetically attached. Yeah. But even though it was magnetically attached, it would still go loose it's in my really bag. It's really easy to lose. Really yeah. easy to lose. Because, I mean, just to be clear, it sticks out about a quarter of an inch yeah. out of the, so the, yeah. the slot. If you don't leave it in your uh, your laptop, then it can just fly around your bag. So this had a, a touch surface on the top, but it wasn't just the whole for, top, yes. right? It was just for uh, vertical scrolling. Okay. This one is a touch surface for vertical and horizontal scrolling. Vertical scrolling will work on PCs and Macs. Uh, on Windows 7, not that great. Windows 8 works perfectly fine, both okay. vertical, like horizontal and vertical, for example, in the start screen. But vertical scrolling doesn't work well on Windows 7, you said? Vertical scrolling, it does that weird thing in Windows 7 where you see the scroll bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not good. Okay. Um, and it works fine on Macs, so OS 10 works fine. Okay. Uh, Bluetooth, easy to pair. Uh, I did lose connection occasionally, but it was very, very uh, infrequent. Um, and it does smartly turn off uh, when you're not using it for like 30 seconds. Oh, so okay. it runs on a AA battery. It comes with a AA battery. Ooh, and fancy. I like it that you can just slide out the battery. Is it rechargeable? Oh, it's just a no, Duracell. Just a Duracell. How long does the battery last? Uh, they say nine months, but I haven't used it for nine months. Obviously. And so I, I don't know yet. Um, one of the things they like is that if you put the battery in the wrong way, it won't close, but you're never going to change the battery that much. Yeah. So that's not really a very useful so you feature. Just, but there, is there a label on there that says which way the battery goes? Yeah. Because I hate that when I look at, when I'm trying to figure out which way it goes. No, there is no label. Mm. Oh, there. actually, inside, right there. Okay, there's a label. Right there, inside, yep. The, the, the nub part goes I in. I am not disappointed. The there you go. Bam. And it snaps in. Snaps uh, in, easy to pair, press the power button or the Bluetooth button okay. in the back, pairs. Um, but the big thing is, it's really small, and so, I'm, again, you're right to be skeptical about how comfortable this is to mm -hmm. use, but uh, when I'm traveling, I mean, the, I don't want to carry, I used to carry a giant corded mouse in mm -hmm. my bag, but this takes almost no space, and I found it's actually really comfortable to claw and grip. I, I want to try this out. I want to try it out, and we'll talk about it on the podcast. Uh, it is $70, which I think <sighs> is probably $10 too uh, more than I'd pay. I'd it isn't enough that I would replace the Arc Touch mouse, if I sensor had this, or okay. if you're happy with a travel mouse, but if you are just traveling now and want to buy a new mouse, uh, I actually think it's quite nice. I know people, especially Windows users who have kind of shitty trackpads on their mm -hmm. laptops, are very fond of the travel mouse. My wife yeah. uses one all the time. Yeah. So I, I can definitely see it. I'm, I'm incredibly skeptical of the size of this mouse. No multi-touch on top. Oh, no multi-touch on no top. Multi -touch, so just, no multi-touch, just no gestures. No, just so left, right, left, swipe, right, up, up, down. Bummer. Yeah. So Bummer. that is the Wedge Touch mouse, the first new peripheral from Microsoft. Now in my back pocket, I also have. It, it's, you say in your back pocket, but it was kind of barely fitting yeah, in your back pocket. It was slotted in my back pocket. So this is a keyboard This cover. is the Wedge mobile keyboard. Now why would they call this Wedge? Uh, it's because there was actually a giant little hump 
I bet that's the where the batteries go. That is where the batteries go. Two AAA batteries, also included, like the Wedge Touch Mouse, the Wedge Mobile Keyboard, uh, runs on Bluetooth, so okay. no dongle. I was really skeptical of this bulky wedge part at the bottom, so I'm gonna take off the cover and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it's really thin by itself. Okay. Um, it's a full-size keyboard, uh, and this thing kind of sticks out. Like, I wish it was a lithium, like a really flat lithium-ion battery. Does it give you a tilt or no? It does give you a tilt, so okay. it leans up. I wish it was, you know, flush and you could pop out, you know, for tilting. Uh, but they decided to have it be a fixed wedge in the bottom so you can accommodate mm -hmm. the batteries and the batteries just pop out on the side. Well, and I know that people who do travel keyboards uh, don't like the rechargeable ones, because typically what happens is they conk out just the time right. that you need to have battery. Exactly. And you can always keep a spare pair of AAAs in your bag. Yeah, so you know, the ba two batteries from the side, and then you have a button on the other side to pair. Okay. Uh, what Microsoft says is that you're supposed to hold it, use a wedge to hold the keyboard while using with a tablet. So this is actually made with tablets in mind. Of course, for Microsoft, that means Windows hold 8 on, tablets. I don't, I don't understand why you, why you would hold so, it when you're using a tablet. So, for example, I have two tablets here. Give me a uh, like the Nexus 7. Okay. I'm holding it like, like this. I don't buy that. that I never that I never like... walk down the street with both a tablet no. and the keyboard at once. Why would you have the keyboard out of your bag if no. you're walking? Yeah. I, I, Maybe I, from meeting the meeting, it's a very limited use case. It's not you know what that's uncomfortable, to me? but I think it totally is a marketing gimmick. Like yeah. eh, I, if you hold it the other side, if it didn't have the wedge. It'd, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Totally fine. Yeah, it's it, super light. Totally fine. That screams to me. We have to find some place to put the batteries. So we need to have a reason that this exists. Yeah. Since we've been telling people that kind exactly. of angle is bad for keyboards. And the thing for a long is, time. with the Nexus Seven, it's it's fine because they're almost the same size, and, and this is only a pound, so yeah. really light. With something like the iPad, now we give me the iPad. Conveniently located right here. It's actually not that comfortable to hold with the iPad. It's, hmm. it's the iPad's a little heavy. Well, that, and, it's clearly not designed yeah. for. No. Yeah. So, but you imagine Windows 8 tablets will be bigger than the yeah. iPad because we're gonna be 10, 11 inch tablets. So I don't see myself walking down the street with the Wedge mobile keyboard and a Windows 8 Well, the nice thing is tablet. if you get mugged when you're walking down the street carrying your tablet and your mm -hmm. keyboard, then they'll probably leave the keyboard because they'll be more excited about getting the tablet. Oh, absolutely. So you'll have your keyboard still. Uh, so the other big thing with this keyboard is oh, the hold on. How are the keys before the we get The keys on? are, uh, it's very low travel, is it a, so very light. It's, a, it's scissor just, keys? Just, uh, I think it's membrane keys. Okay. Um, and so they're not mechanical at all, very light, pretty accurate, 100%. And of course, it's for Windows 8, so you have the Windows 8 shortcut keys, you have the search, share devices, and settings on So you top. can go straight to charms from yeah, your keyboard. Straight to charms, you don't have to swipe in from the side or anything. That sounds great. Uh, is there a function lock on this or no? They, they've gotten rid of function lock no, finally, It's a they? function, but no function lock. Oh, there is this key, which I still don't know it's the what this menu. one does. I've it's never hit this key in my right, entire life. It's the right click key. Uh, That's the, what that used to be for. Really? I remember when they introduced for that properties? in Windows 95. Yeah, we all needed new keyboards for mm. Windows 95. They're getting rid of that key. Yeah. Nobody uses it. At least there's no insert key. Is there a scroll lock? There is no scroll lock. No. Oh my god, nope. how will I lock my scroll? No. Uh, there's musical playback stuff, and this will pair, for example, with an iPad, and you'll be able to use music playback and the volume buttons. But no charms, obviously. But no charms, and does also search, uh, search does not work, and the Windows key does not work as a home key okay. either. So the cover comes with this rubberized plastic cover. That looks like something you would use. right on top. And the cover has a nice texture. Ooh. They say it protects it. It's, it's nice and rubbery. Very soft. But what the cover actually doubles as is a tablet stand. So if you have something like the Nexus 7, which works in the uh, portrait position, hmm. you can then use the tablet with the keyboard and type you know, on an airplane or in a hotel room. That makes it much more useful. Although actually, you're not supposed to use wireless keyboards on airplanes. Oh, well, this is definitely a wireless keyboard. So in a hotel room, and it works well with a small tablet or even like an iPad or a big tablet iPad. Uh, in portrait or landscape position. Interesting. And this is actually very rigid. Uh, if you fold it at any angle, it will stay at that angle. Oh, that's so neat. Any angle you want, and it'll even go the other direction. I folded it many, many times, and it does not seem like it's breaking at all. Excellent. So a good hinge. I how like, much is this? How much does all this, this awesome is cost? Eighty dollars. Whoa! Which I think is again a little, ten dollars more than I would pay I mean, if, for a portable mm -hmm. keyboard. I, I think the if, if you it had a lower profile, if it did not have the wedge, battery, there was some way to have the battery not be there. Uh, this would be portable enough. But I'm, in my bag, it sticks out. In fairness, twenty bucks for a stand, fifteen bucks for a stand, plus fifty bucks for a keyboard. You're not too far off the price. Twenty dollars for a stand. I'm just saying that's what they typically are costing. Especially if you buy the iPad dock, then that's twenty-five oh. bucks or something like that from Apple. Thirty bucks. It's expensive. So this isn't this isn't outside the realm of 
competitive pricing, it, yeah. it does feel a little bit expensive. Actually, I like using this more with the uh, the Nexus 7 than I did with the iPad. Did you make mistakes when you were typing? Not too many mistakes. Okay. I typed the quick brown fox jump over lazy dog many, many times. Okay. Uh, actually, like holding this with Nexus 7 because they're both relatively light, both mm -hmm. about a pound. So holding those in my hand, it's easy to move from like desk across the room with holding both of those. Do you think you could use that as a weapon in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Uh, no. Or it's not sturdy enough? No. I could not beat someone down with this. Okay, yeah, no. Good to know. So, yeah. uh, this is the Microsoft. This is the Wedge mobile keyboard, Wedge and mobile. I had the Wedge touch mouse, which I will use. Uncomfortably want. stretching to get that out of your other back pocket. Yeah. Wedge touch mouse, Wedge mobile keyboard. They go together. They, yeah, they have a similar design aesthetic with the silver, the shiny silver. Uh, notice the Wedge touch mouse. It does show the wear, mm -hmm. so all that fancy It's going to get shiny. Will get shiny from yeah. grease on your fingers after a little while. You should wash your hands before mousing. Mm, no one washes their hands before a computer. So uh, you like them? They're both I do like them. Good. I like the mouse way more than the keyboard. Uh, this is actually, I think, really good for travel. Excellent. For test time, Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.